Welcome back, everyone, yep. to another episode of Pop Rant Gaming. Wow. Where Luke is traveling through the land of the sand people. That's the name of this level, not it's a racist thing. Incredibly racist. <laughs> uh, that's the like actual the... name of this level. Ugh. But, uh... Yeah, because so... they aren't... Are they referred to as Tusken Raiders in this? Nev they're never referred to as Tusken Raiders in the movies. They are referred to as sand people. I think Tusken Raiders is something that they introduce later. I thought they say it in the Attack of the Clones. Well, I, I mean, I'm sorry, in the original movies. Oh, in the good ones. The <laughs> in, real in, Star Wars. In the ones that actually exist. Okay. They never actually say Tusken Raider, I don't think. It, definitely not in A New Hope, and they wouldn't have any reason to say it in uh, an Empire. <laughs> I just say it randomly. <laughs> hey, it's remember like, the sand man, people? I really love writing these... What are they called? Tusken Raiders. No, one of, one of the stupid things they ride in... Oh, Banthas. They ride Banthas. No, the... Um, Tauntauns. Tauntauns. That's Hoth, what they, on Hoth. I couldn't remember what they were called. Yeah. Um, man, these Tauntauns are better than those <laughs> Tusken Raiders. Just totally died. <laughs> totally I got you. He's just... Ah. He's dedicated. That was awesome. Well, hey, at least he fell into this beautiful back so art this, painting. This part sucks. Like, there's not a lot of ridiculous platforming Jeez, in this I game. No Actually, there's, there's a fair amount of it, but... This, this part sucks. Whenever you have to... It gets harder later in this level. But whenever you have to, like, jump over the, I the naked rocks mole rats and stuff... I keep getting you. <laughs> uh, the, uh, anyway, we still have the plasma gun, which is really good, obviously. It just destroys <laughs> everything. It does get jump attack you miss. So, yeah. <laughs> I don't think they actually mention the term uh, Tusken Raider in any of the movies. At least in any of the additional movies. Yeah, I think they I just think came it's... up with it later because it sounds less less <laughs> bad. You are getting a text message. I am. It's supposed to be turned off. It's all good. Don't text well, me, people. It's because you have the timer up. Oh, so it's, right it's, right it's right do not dis do not disturb. All right, well, doesn't I'll work. make another really loud sound around it. <laughs> it's okay. It's all good. Uh, so yep, this is the, this is the this is the part that actually sucks with the uh, the minox trying to trying to push you the off. What? Here. They're Minox. That's what they're called. They're birds. They're they're Minox. Remember they're in Empire when they go into the cave and they sh they have to shoot the Minox off the side of the Falcon and they have to escape because the cave is no cave. Oh, what uh, is it please then? land! Oh, thank you. You have to the blind jump. Hey, Obi Wan, die! <laughs> and Obi Wan died. Um. Okay, so wow, that looks really good. Yeah, much 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 better than than the than the opening like menu and that. Kinda looks like Alec Guinness. Yeah, that looks like Alec Guinness if he was drunk before before he died. Oh, <laughs> Oscar award-winning Alec Guinness reduced to a, that's the same damn cutscene. <laughs> they just they just photoshopped. Oh, we <laughs> they just like ran the camera over. <laughs> uh. Okay, so we kind of touched on the prequels there. Um, <laughs> I want to take this moment to talk about my favorite Star Wars character. <laughs> and he's, he's predominantly in the prequels. I'm waiting for him to show up in episode eight. He's predominantly in the prequels, meaning he's only, he's only in, in the, the prequels. prequels. Well, so far, he might be an eight. We don't know. <laughs> we don't know. Oh, by the way, real quick. So you get the lightsaber here. Um, we're not going to use it. We're just going to switch back to the plasma <laughs> gun because it's way better. Uh, Anti-Star Wars view. <laughs> uh, the, the lightsaber is way better in the next two games, but in this game, it's all about the plasma cannon. Wait, because you get that sweet jump attack. Yes. So here's the Banthas that we're just gonna straight murder in the face. Jeez. And they're gonna. Oh, well, they blow do. Up. I like. I like how he sits here and like cries in pain. And it explodes. <laughs> Jesus, that's horrible. Like, anyway, he just like walks up. He's like, I'm going to get some water. And, like you murder him. Please tell us all about Newt Gunray, your okay. favorite Star Wars yes, character. Yes, Newt Gunray is my favorite Star Wars character. Um. Okay, so he's he's introduced in Episode One because he's the head of. The, the trade, trade federation. The trade federation. Yes. Yeah, he's a viceroy on the trade federation, and he's like Darth Sidious' his little bitch in that movie, because <laughs> um, his plan, Darth Sidious' plan is to use the trade federation to like screw up politics at the moment yeah. with like Naboo and other nations. Yes, and then from there he's going to show the necessity of an emperor. Or a uh, head of council? Yeah, so the, the current... I can't believe I know all this. So the current Supreme Chancellor is, like, kind of weak-willed and won't do anything about it. Isn't it... It's so a he, famous actor, too, Yeah, it's, it? um... He's, like, it's, very uh, underutilized. It's, it's Zod. It's General Zod. It's, um... 
Um, not Michael Shannon, but it's Michael uh, Shannon. <laughs> it's Michael Shannon. Back in nineteen seventy. Um, it's no, uh, that's, that's... what is his name? Damn it, I know his name. Uh, it's it's he's got a cool name. Just say Ter- Terrence Stamp. I was gonna say just say it's, it's... and then we'll we'll dub you in going Terrence Stamp. <laughs> it's Terrence Stamp. So he is the current viceroy, but Palpatine's plan is I'm gonna use the Trade Federation. You're fighting it's, a gremlin. It's a mutant womp. It, is, it does look like a gremlin. It's a giant womp rant. We're, uh, <laughs> Sorry, go ahead. No, you're good. So he, he... Basically, Sidious wants to use the situation so he be- can become Chancellor. Even though his plan right. doesn't make any sense because if he kills Qui-Gon and Obi-Wan, no one's ever going to be able to go to the Senate. Right, because they blow up the ship that yeah. brings them there. His plan's stupid and doesn't make any sense. But anyway, New Gunray. All right, so that's, like, that's the background. New Gunray is Chancellor Palpatine's means to get into this but new gunray's a total f up <laughs> he sucks he's terrible plus on top of that he's like a really bad japanese stereotype <laughs> like his voice sounds like a south park japanese man they must be dead by now he's just destroy like, what's left oh, of them. the jedi are here get them out of here it's horrible uh really and there's bad. like three of them there's like three new there's three bam, new bam, 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 you're dead <laughs> dude this one's happy look at him <laughs> Like reach it out. Um, so there's like I don't know what the species is. There's clearly Newt Gunrays. Yes, we'll just call him Gunrays. This one's name is Newt. Um, <laughs> it's Newt Gingrich Gunray. That's his name. Uh, that won't be topical for long. Um, wow. So, uh, Newt Gunray. Which by by the way, these Jawas they're like riding around in like the Men in Black chairs. Uh, or <laughs> oh, it's Charles Xavier's chair. <laughs> They're just like jet wheelchairs. Or they kind of look like uh, uh, oh, Yoda's and dumb... Watch this, watch this romp, romp rat. Hey, how's it going? Boop, you're dead. <laughs> they just blew up. You didn't exist anymore. Um, no, they look like they're riding the little chair that Yoda sits in. Yeah, he I mean, he's Sith. like floating around in it. Right, when he's just being an asshole and not existing because he's CGI and not a puppet. <laughs> Which, we're, we're also murdering more Jawas, by the way. This is the This is the Jawa genocide. Oh, wait, so Newt Gunray and the other Gunrays are all, like, they're terrible. Like, they're so stupid. They're completely incompetent. Like, yes, incompetent is the exact word you would use to describe the gun race species. Like, there's no way that Sidious should be relying on them. It's a it's a shocker that their planet has imploded. <laughs> um, okay, so we just, have... Just from sheer incompetence. Just, like, not, not any specific reason, <laughs> just... It's, it's like, like it's like if the force is the most powerful thing in the universe, the, the gun rays incompetence is the is next. Yes. It's like the second one. Their plan is just like, oh, did you what did the plants this morning? And they're like, oh, I forgot, I'll do it eventually. And the planet just implodes. Um, yeah, for sure. Like they just they're all dead. Yeah, so they're just terrible. Um, but like, so there's like five of them throughout the movies. But there's three predominant ones. There's Newt Gunray, who wears that stupid little hat, and wears a red robe it's a in hat. every damn scene he's in. Then there's his partner, who is somehow more of a coward than he is. She, Shocker. And he has, like, three lines and across the entire trilogy. He's like, they're getting through the blast doors! Like, this is the only line in the first movie. Also terrible. Then there's the female Gunray. I assume she's female. Um, With the crazy goggle eyes. Yeah, who has, like, testicle eyes. <laughs> Like, her eyes are just two giant black orbs. And her, like, only line is, Sir, they've gone up the ventilation shaft. Which is even more racist than new gun ray. Oh, all, the Jawas, all the Jawas are dead. We can head towards Mos Eisley now. Sweet. And our Jawas jet, are extinct. And Congratulations. Our Whee! I remember when the Landspear did this. Yeah, special, special edition. God, The Land. 2008 re-release. Okay, so, ugh. New gun ray is just terrible. And so are all the gun rays. Like it's it sounds super racist, I guess, that we're talking about this like this. But I mean, the, it's, he's a racist character. Like it's really bad. Yes. Uh, so the reason why I love New Gunray so much, besides his incompetency, is the fact that like Jar Jar Binks is an incredibly hated character in the Star Wars universe. Rightfully so. Right. Yes. Definitely. Rightfully so. However. He somehow succeeds. <laughs> Floating boxes. Look at that. Yeah, it's the, the physics. It's the force. Ugh, everything has the force. <laughs> boxes um, have the force. So, Jar Jar Binks, terrible. Gungans, terrible. Or are they Goongas? Uh, that's my phone, sorry. Are they Gungans or Goongas? Or? Uh, I, they say Gungans. George Lucas says Goongans. I don't think it really matters. At one point he says Goongas, too. Who cares? But, yeah, who... <laughs> 
<laughs> Isn't that the truth? Yeah. Well, uh, okay, we're in the middle of this level, so this episode's gonna run a little longer. So go ahead. Oh, yes. by the way, this dewback's just like, yeah, I don't care that people are running on me and or shooting, shooting me. me in the face. Okay, and... so Jar Jar Binks is horrible. Every Gungan is horrible, especially Boss Nas. Like, he's terrible. <laughs> um, but he succeeds. Like, he redeems himself by being a total klutz asshole. <laughs> he at least does he, something. Gets shoehorned into the sequels by becoming a senator, which ha, how the hell did that happen? Every guy, everyone else in the uh, was dead. I might die. Don't die. Shit. Oh well, great. All right. Well, next time on All Pop right. Rant Gaming, I'll piss off more people about Jar Jar Binks being better than New Gunray. All right. See you then. Bye.